guys. Today we'll be looking at the Dell Inspiron 16. It comes at a reasonable price for the hardware packed inside. And I picked this model up for about £1,300. This is a new 2021 model and it's kind of a mid slash high range product depending on the specification that you go for. The model I have here has 16 gigabytes of RAM with a one terabyte hard drive, an 11th gen i7 with eight cores and an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060. Before getting into the video further, I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helped the channel and I would really appreciate it. Firstly, the entire laptop is made from painted aluminium and you can see this has nice diamond cut edges around the outside which gives it a really premium look and feel. As a result though, this is quite a weighty laptop but not to the extent that it isn't comfortable to travel around with. On the left side we have the power adapter, an HDMI port, a USB 3.1 port and a Thunderbolt 4 connection. On the right hand side we have a full size SD card slot, a headphone microphone jack and another USB 3.1 port. On the underside of the laptop there are vents for the fans and at the front we have the two speakers. I'll be interested to see how these speakers actually sound, seems a bit of a strange place to put them but we'll wait and see. I might be surprised, but I think they might sound a bit muffled, but I'll be covering that in my next video. Today, we'll just be looking at the hardware of the product. And we also have the screws that can be removed to take the back of the casing off. And it's quite easy. I'm not gonna do it in this video today, but if you wanted to do that, the SSD, the RAM, and the battery are all easily removable. As well as the vents on the bottom, we always have vents on either side. and an exhaust point above the keyboard. Um, with the RTX 3060 model, you'll have three fans and five heat pipes. And I believe for all other configurations, you only have two fans and three heat pipes. We have a 16 inch LCD display, which supports up to 3K. The keyboard has a full number pad, which is nice to see, but it does feel like everything has been pushed to the left a bit and everything's a little bit cramped. As a result, there's no dedicated page up or page down button, but these are now a secondary function on the up and down keys. And a few other buttons are slightly smaller, but this shouldn't be an issue for most people. If you were typing all day, it might get a bit irritating and feel a bit cramped, but um, for the purpose of this laptop, I think it's fine. The keys don't have a lot of play in them and they do seem to sit quite low. So this might become a bit uncomfortable if you're typing for a long period of time, but it won't really bother most people. And I think it's quite a similar feel to a MacBook Pro. The touchpad is huge on this laptop and again, it resembles a MacBook. Again, we have the diamond cut around the outside. Um, which gives it a really nice premium look and feel. The touchpad does feel a bit squishy in areas and the clicks for the left and right buttons don't feel as satisfying as I would have hoped, but it's not much worse than I've experienced with other laptops. As long as it performs well, then it shouldn't be a problem. And if you're using a mouse most of the time, it's not gonna be something that's gonna bother you too much. So far, I'm really impressed with the premium look and feel of the laptop. Even though it's a bit weighty, it feels like it's a high quality, high end product made of good materials. And the attention to detail with the diamond cut edging around the outside just adds to that. The cramped keyboard may be an issue for some people if they're planning on typing all day. But for me personally, I prefer it this way. I like that they've included a full number pad on the right hand side. And this comes in really handy when working with spreadsheets, which personally I do quite a lot. In a follow-up video, I'll be looking into this in a bit more detail, including performance for content creating, 
gaming and the thermals. I really want to see how hot this laptop runs and how quiet the fans are. I'll also be looking at how the speakers perform and how accurate the trackpad is. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you for the next video.